Dom Bernard de Montfaucon, OSB, was a French Benedictine monk of the Congregation of Saint Maur. He was an astute scholar who founded the discipline of paleography, as well as being an editor of works of the Fathers of the Church. He is regarded as one of the founders of modern archaeology. Early life. Montfaucon was born on 13 January 1655 in the castle of Solat Gay, a small village in the southern town of Corbière, then in the ancient province of Languedoc, now in the modern department of Order. After one year he was moved to the castle of Roquet Talade, residence of his family. When he was seven, he was sent to Limou, to the college run by the Fathers of Christian Doctrine. Career. Montfaucon served in the French army as a volunteer and participated in the Franco-Dutch War of 1673. He was a captain of grenadiers and made two campaigns under the command of Marshal Turenne participated in the Battle of Herbsthausen and fell ill in Savern in Alsace. Because of his infectious illness he made a vow to Our Lady of Marseille to give 100 livres to her sanctuary in Limoux and to become a monk, if he was able to return to his country as a result of her intervention. After the death of Montfaucon's father at the Chateau de Roquetalade, in 1675 he entered the novitiate of the Benedictine Monastery of Bream in Toulouse. There he learned several ancient languages, Greek, Hebrew, Chaldean, Syriac, and Coptic. In 1687 Montfaucon was called to the Abbey of St. Germain des Pieri Acutes and he started to work on an edition of the works of the Greek Church Fathers. In 1705 Montfaucon examined and described the manuscripts of the Fonds Coislin, in Bibliotheca Coisliniana. In 1708 in Paleographia Greca, Montfaucon became the first to use the term paleography. The work illustrates the entire history of Greek writing. It contains Montfaucon's discussions of variations in Greek letterforms, the use of abbreviations in Greek manuscripts and the process of deciphering archaic writing. It was Montfaucon's special interest. In this work he often cited Greek manuscripts in texts of Athanasius of Alexandria, Oregon, and John Chrysostom. The book dealt so comprehensively with the handwriting and other characteristics of Greek manuscripts that it remained the leading authority on the subject for almost two centuries. In 1714 Montfaucon published the fragments of Hexapla of Oregon. Montfaucon published 15 volumes of L'Antiquité Explique à Represse en TN figures between 1719 and 1724. An English translation of this work was published in 1721-25 under the title Antiquity Explained and Represented in Diagrams. The work contained copperplate folio engravings of classical antiquities. It included a depiction of the Barberini vase, more commonly known as the Portland vase. This book is published in English under the title Antiquities. The materials used in this work were taken from the manuscripts deposited in French libraries. It contains many illustrative facsimiles, though they are engraved in a rather coarse way. In 1719, Montfaucon was named by Philippe II, Duke of Orléans, to the Académie des Inscriptions et Belles Lettres. In 1719, after the death of the Jesuit priest, Michel Letellier, confessor to the late King Louis XIV, Bernard de Montfaucon then became confessor to the young King Louis XV. Montfaucon died on 21 December 1741 at the Abbey of St. Germain des Pieri Acutes, where he was buried. Legacy In a letter of 24 June 1786, Josiah Wedgwood explains that he had seen Montfaucon's engravings of the Portland vase. Montfaucon was the original editor of the homilies Adversus Judios by St. John Chrysostom, along with many other works of the Fathers of the Church. Montfaucon laid the foundation for the study of Greek manuscripts. 
Scrivener stated that his work still maintains a high authority, even after more recent discoveries, especially of papyri in Egypt. Present scholars agree that he created a new discipline, paleography, and presented it in a perfected way. Montfaucon is largely responsible for bringing the famous Bayer tapestry to the attention of the public. In 1724, the scholar Antoine Lancelot discovered drawings of a section of the tapestry among papers of Nicolas Joseph Foucault, a Norman administrator. Lancelot, unsure of what medium these drawings depicted, suggested that they might be a tomb relief, stained glass, a fresco, or even a tapestry. When Lancelot presented Foucault's drawings in 1724 to the Académie des Inscriptions et Belles Lettres in Paris, they attracted the attention of Montfaucon, who subsequently tracked down the textile in the drawings with help from his Benedictine colleagues in Normandy. This is often regarded as the modern discovery of the Bayard Tapestry which had gone on quiet display annually in the Bayeux Cathedral for possibly centuries. Montfaucon published the Foucault drawings in the first volume his Les Monuments de la Monarchie Françoise, sic, in anticipation of volume 2 of Les Monuments. Montfaucon employed the artist Antoine Benoit and sent him to Bay to copy the tapestry in its entirety and in a manner faithful to its style. Unlike Foucault's touched-up renditions which were more suitable to 18th-century French tastes, Emory University art history professor Elizabeth Carson Paston criticizes Montfaucon for his Norman triumphalist point of view in dealing with the story of the tapestry. Despite the fact that he asserted that one should trust the best historians of Normandy, she does state, however, that modern scholars are indebted to him for his process of examining many accounts of the Norman conquest and interpreting the tapestry, and his highlighting of the tapestry's ambiguity and enigma, works, an elector Greca, sci varia opuscula Greca and editor, s. Athanasii Opera Omnia. Diaria Metallicum, Bibliotheca Coage Liniana, Collection over Patrum Grea Corum, Paleographia Graeca, Sive de Ortua Progress Literarum Graecarum, Bibliotheca Coage Liniana Elimsigariana, Paris, Ludovicus Guerin and Carolus Robustal, L'Antiquite Explique et Represente en Figures, Les Monuments de la Monarchie Francaise, Sancti Patris Nostra Ioannis Chrysostomi Opera Omnia, Bibliotheca Bibliothecarum Manuscriptorum Nova, Antiquitas Explanation A Schematibus Illustrator, 10 volumes.